What's up everybody? Today we're going to learn some mind-blowing magic. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. When I've been in the charity shops looking around, I came across this, which is the Magic Club Magician's Compendium. And in here comes with eight magic tricks. There's the color changing tube, floating match trick, the illusion box, the magic coin case, magic ropes, prediction cards, coin escape, and the magic thumb tip. Unfortunately, the float and match trick isn't in, so instead of eight tricks, there's only seven. But we're gonna look through everything that's in it and do some of the tricks. So as you can see here, this is the copyright to Professor Puzzle Limited. So yeah, that's the bottom of the box. On the front of the box, it has the Magician's Compendium 8 Magic Tricks. And as you can see, I only paid a pound for it. And there's some mind-blowing tricks, apparently. And on the back, it's just got a list of all the magic tricks and the different things that you can perform with it. So, of course, opening up, we have the ropes for the magic rope tricks. We have the colour-changing tubes. We also have a box which has some cards in. Have some instructions how to perform the tricks. We have the magic coin escape. And I've got a 2P in there just so I can perform some tricks with it. We also have the magic coin case. And also every magician's favorite, the thumb tip. And it comes with a little handkerchief for it as well. So what we're going to do is just have a look at some of the tricks and I'm going to do a little slight performance of them just to show you how the trick's going to be done. First up is the magic coin case and the theory behind it is you have these two bits of plastic. As you can see there's a hole in the middle which you put a coin in. I, this one is a 2p piece and when you put that in there it disappears and all you have to do is put it back in and the coin it reappears. So once you've done the trick, you can't really give it out to the spectator as much because there's a slight noise in it. However, if you're just performing it in the street and you sort of, you make it disappear and reappear really quickly, then you can sort of get away with it and you can hand this out. They can have a look. They'll probably figure out how it's done because it's quite an easy trick. However, it's a nice fun trick to do. I bought myself a new wallet the other day and as you can see here, it's only got one coin slot. So when I've been going to the shops and I've been putting my money in the wallet, when I get to the shops, it disappears for some reason. So I have to explain to the cashier, he said, oh yeah, I just had the coin. I don't know where it's gone. I'll have another look in the wallet. So I close up the wallet, open it back up, and as you can see here, the coin appears. So that is the magic coin case. Up next is a nice one, which every magician likes, and it is the thumb tip, and also comes with a handkerchief, so you can do the actual trick with it. There's so many more tricks that you can do with the thumb tip, other than the handkerchief one. For example, I've seen someone do it with salt, rather than a handkerchief, so you can make some salt disappear in your hand, and then appear in the other hand, and fantastic like that. I've also seen it done with water, and other things. Here's a quick trick with a handkerchief. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna put it in this palm here, like so. Shove it in the palm. When it's going in, push it right the way in. And when I blow, it just disappears. So yeah, that's the thumb tip with the handkerchief. And like I said, there's many more different things you can do. So basically have it in your thumb. And when you show the motion of what you're gonna do, you put the thumb tip there, put in your salt, your handkerchief, your water, whatever. Then once you've done it, you put it back on your thumb and you've got that thumb to do whatever you want with. So what you can do is you can take the thumb tip and you can just slip it out on your hand and you've got that so you can pour whatever was in there. So yeah, really nice trick, always good. So that's two tricks all done. Now I want to trick number three. For this one, it's the magic coin case. And as you can see here, this is, it's got four rubber bands on. There's the four rubber bands that I've took off. As you can see here, there's two bits of plastic. They can go either side and there's also this little thing which the coin sits in. And obviously when you put them together, the coin can't go through that at all. What seals the effect though, is when you put that in with the coin, you put the four rubber bands on, so there's definitely no way of the coin coming out, then it just bamboozles people when they, when they see it. I'm gonna do a coin trick, and what I'm gonna use is a 2P coin and this plastic container. And as you can see here, the coin is secured inside of there, so the coin can't come out. What I'm gonna make it do, to make it even more secure, is put four rubber bands around the outside of it, just to secure it in, and make sure it definitely doesn't get out. So as you can see here, the coin is stuck in with the elastic bands. Give it a good shake and it doesn't come out. It's still stuck in there. No matter what I'll do, that won't come out. But what I can do is I can take this red handkerchief and then all of a sudden I can go one, two, three, drop it. And the coin, well, it's gone. So yeah, that's the coin trick with the handkerchief. 
That's three tricks done, now on to the next one. So next in it is the illusion box. And this is a little black box where you can create an illusion where something goes in it and it disappears. And for this example, I'm gonna put a card in it, gonna make that disappear and you'll be able to see it. This trick, I'm gonna make a playing card vanish. As you can see here, I've got a box. There's nothing in the box, it's just a normal box. What I'm gonna do is take the eight spades, I'm gonna put it inside, now I'll shut it. Now what I can do is give it a quick play. And just like that, the card has disappeared. So yeah, that's the illusion box, and just like that, you make the card appear again, and you make it disappear, appear, as many times as you want. It's really good fun. Next in the pack is the prediction cards. As you can see here, there's five different cards. What you're gonna do is get someone to make a prediction, and you're gonna remove one card, and that is gonna be their prediction. Here's a quick, easy magic trick. What I'm gonna do is make a look at these cards, and you need to choose one of these cards. Do you have it locked in your head? Right, what I'm gonna do is take one of the cards, I'm going to throw it away, and just like that, your card has disappeared. Up next is a colour changing tube. As you can see here, you've got a red tube and also some other coloured pieces. The theory behind the trick is you put these in a specific order, and when you tip them out, they come out in a different order. It's time now for some colour changing magic. I've got this red tube here and some smaller tubes. I've got a green, a pink and a white. What I can do is if I can take the green, put that in, take the pink and put the white. So you've got green, pink, white. What I can do is when you snap your fingers and when you pour it out, it should be green, but it's white. It should be pink, but it's green. It should be white, but it's pink. That's a color changing tube, really nice simple effect. And all you do is just palm the other bit off. So when you pass the tube out to the spectators after you performed it, there's nothing there that they can see and it's passed off clean. Now we're at trick number seven. And this is the last trick from this pack because there's a bit missing. However, if you had the other pack, you've got the floating match. So obviously you have a playing card like this and you have a match floating in the middle of it, essentially, which is a really good trick. However, it's not in here for some reason, but it's easy enough to do. Last but not least, it's the magic ropes. And obviously these haven't been opened yet. So first time to use them. Rope magic isn't something that I've done before. and I'm not very good at it, but essentially you have the three different sizes of ropes and the way you move them around like this and uh, do different things with them. What you're going to do essentially is make all of the three ropes look the same length when you do the trick and when they look the same length you show the spectator and after that you do another trick and they end up being different lengths again and the instructions with it it's got the full thing of how to learn to do it and it goes step by step with the different ropes or a b c shows you the different methods and it's a really good trick when you get it done seen it loads of times with magicians and it's really good. There's loads of different rope tricks you can do and some of my favourite ones are done with everyday objects. So you can get a bit of rope like this which is someone's headphones for example. So you take the headphones and when you have the lead like this you can cut that and it looks like the headphones are being cut. And then all you do is when you put them together you pull it out and the headphones are magically back together. Really good visual effect and really good trick, so yeah. That's it for the Magic Compendium. And there's some really good tricks there for basics. And obviously the rope one's a bit more advanced, so I'm gonna have to sit down and learn that. When I've been looking around, I've been finding loads of magic kits and things like that. So I've been collecting them all. And what I'm hoping to do is do more videos on them. So unboxing them, show you what tricks there's in there, perform some of the tricks and different things like that. One of the ones which I got, which is really good, is the Marvin's Magic Card Tricks one. And it's all to do with tricks regarding a stripper deck. So I got myself a bicycle stripper deck rather than the cards that came with it because they're a bit harder to work with. So I'm going to be doing that soon and going through the book and doing every single trick with the stripper deck as in the instructions and performing the tricks. So if you were to buy that, then you could perform all of these tricks by reading these instructions. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I've been trying out different backdrops. So at the studio, I've got loads of different settings. Obviously, used to do this stuff with the neon LED lights, and we've just been getting this sofa. What I'm possibly going to do is take some of the LEDs and put them behind the sofa and use that as a backdrop because it's nice to sit down sometimes rather than standing and do different things. So we used to have all the clothing hanging in here, as you can see here, some of the clothing on the INX clothing website. Get your magic T-shirts and all that other stuff. We've been able to move around and obviously making more space and changing stuff around in the studio. So, so I'm hoping this is possibly going to be another shooting area that I can do to shoot videos because it's quite nice just to sit down and chill out, especially when just talking to the camera about various different things and not performing. Some of the tricks from here I'll be putting on Instagram and TikTok, so head over to those platforms and give us a follow. 
and leave a comment on the videos as well if you've seen it from this video and until next time see ya